No, 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 no. Let me sit down and take a seat. Because what our man saying, if we beat Arsenal on Saturday, we go second in the league and a point behind them. You know what happened against Manchester City? The man got absolutely cooked. And that was round one. On Saturday is round two. Arsenal, make sure you man are ready. We're going to respect you. But you're coming to Villa Park, yeah? Let's make it 15 wins in a row. Let's get into this, people. Yes, yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, of course, I'm outside Villa Park and I can't lie, I'm absolutely drenched right now. It's raining. Um, but listen, let's get straight into it. A brief recap before we get into the match preview versus Arsenal this Saturday. And what happened to Manchester City? The man got absolutely cooked, butchered, fried. We put them in the oven and we burnt them, bro. They still come out, man. Erling Haaland is still in our defender's pocket, bro. Absolutely cooked them from start to finish. This is the first game, obviously, Pep Guardiola have no answers for. Literally no answers, man. Una Emery absolutely done him, man. What a performance from the Villa from start to finish. From the defenders all the way to the attackers, man. Our defenders, oh my days. Diego Carlos, Pau Torres, the passes they were playing through that midfield. Emi Martinez making early saves in the game in the first half. Those double saves. And you know the chant, Emi Martinez, the best in the world. And he showed that yesterday, yeah. Uri Emery, what a manager. He has changed our club around. What am I saying? Third in the league. We are absolutely cooking, man. What a performance yesterday. Man City got dusted. Treble winners got dusted. The Premier League champions got dusted. The Champions League winners got absolutely dusted, man. But anyway, people, let's get into this match preview. All right, people, let's touch on Arsenal's result this season. So the one eleven. G3 and lost one, like I said, against Newcastle United, man. And I have to say, Arsenal this season are absolutely flying. Of course, they're coming back from the win against Luton Town. And of course, Declan Rice, an absolute bowler, man. Declan Rice is a bowler. Like, he is one of the signings of the season. That 100 million that they spent was well spent, man. And big up Arsenal for that, man. Like, what a player he is. Cross came in and what a header that was from Declan Rice. The 90th plus minute, I don't know what it was, but... Last minute, that's what it was, man. Um, and yeah, man, Arsenal are flying this season, man. They're absolutely cooking the football they play. We'll touch a bit on it. The way they get into a little pocket of spaces, the way Odegaard can just pick up the ball and just dictate the play, the way Saka and Martinelli, Martinelli this season is cooking, bro. Saka as well, that link up that Saka and Jesus and Martinelli have is different, man. Like, this Saturday is going to be a tough, tough, tough game. And one thing I'm thinking of is... Because we put all that energy into the Manchester City game, are the Villa players going to be fatigued? Is the energy going to drop off? Or well, this way game management comes in. And I'll touch on my predicted lineup in a bit. But I have to say, man, I can see something sim uh, similar happening. But like I said, it depends on the players' fitness and everything like that, man. But yeah, Arsenal this season, absolutely flying. I will touch on a few danger, man, that they have, man. First one, Declan Rice, bro. They needed a player like him. Arsenal, what did they do? Summer came, they said, we want Declan Rice and put 100 million down and got their player, man. And what a player he has been. Absolutely balling out, man. One of the main, main players. He's a dictator. You know, he can create, he can defend, he can drive with the ball. He's shooting, he's different level, man. Like, I've always uh, rated Declan Rice and what a player he is. We also they got Saka, absolute baller. When it comes to 1v1, taking on players, this guy is different level, man. Martinelli, same thing. When it comes to 1v1, this guy is a different level, man. Direct, 1v1, pace, dribbling, skill, flair. And I have to say, man, I like to say Doggy Luiz is a real Brazilian. But Martinelli as well, man. He's a real Brazilian for sure, man. So, yeah, they've got a few, few. If not, the whole team, man. The whole team, ballers. Saliba, if not, the best centre-back in the Premier League. Um, they've got so many players, man. Odegaard, Gabriel Jesus, um... Like, literally, man, the, the whole midfield, the whole difference, the attack, like, the different level, man. What a, what a team they are and what a job Arteta has done um, with them, man, I have to say. But let's touch on how I think Aston Villa will kind of approach this game, man. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking that Unai Emery might play the same way that he played against Manchester City, you know. Like, I know Luton Town, they defended well, low block, restricted Arsenal. And maybe that is one way to, uh, to play them. But at Villa Park, I think Unai Emery... You know, it's going to press them, man. 
And when we played Manchester City in the press conference, I think it was, he said he wants to reduce the distance between our players and their players. And that basically meant when they got the ball, Villa went like a mid-block and we were pressing their midfield. Like Rico Lewis, when he got the ball, Villa players were on him, man. John McGinn on him. Kamara was on him. Uh, Douglas Luiz was on their midfield, man. Like, it was so good to see that press, man. And I can possibly see something happening the same. We played against Man City. I can see something happening like that against uh, Arsenal on Saturday, man. But if I'm wrong, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you think we might play a different way, let me know your thoughts. But I think we might just rough Arsenal up, man. Show physicality. Show some uh, pressure. And make it a fortress like it is, man. 14 wins in a row is absolutely crazy. Right now, Aston Villa have got the best um, home form. If not one of the best in Europe right now. Maybe top three. If not the best, I'm not sure. But it's up there, man. That's all I'm saying. It is up there, man. Like, Villa Park right now is a fortress. The atmosphere, the fireworks that came off, the, the flares, everything like that, man. Like, any team coming now to Villa Park, it's going to be a tough game, man. At the same time, like I said, we have to respect Arsenal. We have to respect what Aitich is doing. We have to respect the players that they got. They got quality players, world-class players. Uh, but, man, if this was at Emirates, it would be a different story. I would be less confident. But because it's at Villa Park, man, I'm just confident, man. At the same time, I'm respecting them, but confident at the same time. And also nervous and excited, man, I have to say. But let's get into my lineup now. And I have to say, I can see it being the same team that we played against Manchester City. But that depends on the players' fitness. The players are fatigued. I can possibly see Unai Emery changing it. But I'm going to keep the same team, man. One thing, though, I know Luka Dean has been bowling out. You know, the headers that he made against Manchester City, his aerial ability was a joke, man. I have to say, like, he actually won most of his headers. I want to see a stat. If you guys know, know a stat um, on his uh, headers one, his aerial ability one against Manchester City, let me know in the comments below. But I'm sure he won most of his um, aerial draws, man, I have to say. So the only thing I can see is Alex Moreno possibly coming in for uh, Luca Dean. And that's only because they've got um, Martinelli on that side. And you know him, he can bring that pace. Um, so yeah, that's possibly the only one thing I can change. But yeah, my line will be the same. So of course, Emi Martinez in goal. Right back, I'll put Ezri Khan today because Bakayo Saka, bro, I don't think he can go 1v1 against Matty Cash. I think Ezri Khan is more better at defending. Um, and also, as well, going forward, Ezri Khan can do it. You saw it against Manchester City. He was providing the width as well. So, yeah, Ezri Khan to right back. Centre backs, Diego Carlos, Paul Torres, the passes they played against Manchester City. I want to see something like that. Paul Torres is passing. Diego Carlos is passing. Is elite, man. Like, um, the amount of times we got the ball into the Man City midfield, and then McGinn picked up the ball and turned with it. Kamara picked up the ball, turned. Luis picked up the ball, turned. It was different, man. So, yeah, they are my two centre-back pairings. Left-back, I'm thinking Luca Dean or Alex Moreno, but I just think that Unai Emery will play Luca Dean. So, yeah, I'll just play Luca Dean left-back. Um, and, yeah, he's been bowling, I have to say. Centre-mids, Kamara and the real Brazilian absolutely bowled out, man, against Manchester City. On the left, John McGuinniesta. What a shift he put against Manchester City, man. The way he was pressing, the aggression, everything like that, man. What a player John McGuinniesta is. And then on the right, please put respect on Leon Bailey. Please put respect on his name. What a player, man. He is in the form of his life. Got his goal. And I saw the interview that he done after the game. And I have to say he was emotional, man. Like, what a roller coaster ride it's been. And Leon Bailey right now is playing how he was at Bayern Leverkusen. And, and I've always backed Leon Bailey, man. What a player he is. Please put respect on his name. And hopefully he's not um, uh, injured as well. I know he came off against Manchester City, but hopefully the injury ain't that bad. I don't think it is. But yeah, I can see Leon Bailey starting, man. What a baller. My baller. Um, and then, yeah, I can see Tielemans. Uh, Tielemans against City as well. Oh, he balled out, man. The press. The, the winning the ball back, oh, he, he balled out, man. What a player Tielemans has been, man. Um, and then, yeah, Oli Watkins up front, man. Um, and I can see Moussa Diaby coming on in the second half. Um, I can even see him starting as well just to provide some width and stretch that um, uh, Arsenal midfield. But Tielemans, man, I think, I think he'll play, to be honest with you. And then, yeah, Diaby can come on in the second half um, and just run at Arsenal, you know, the players will be tired, so yeah, he can come on and just cause problems, and one thing as well at Villa, we have got squad depth, people, we have got squad depth, man, Jacob Ramsey, Starboy Ramsey, Alex Moreno, John Durant, Mighty Cash, you know, we've got players that can come in and change the game, man, which is so good to see, like, our whole squad is so good, man, but listen, 
Villa fans, we are in dreamland. Um, and yeah, man, we're cooking. But before I go, score prediction time. Listen, I'm going to respect Arsenal. And I will take a draw, I have to say. I'll take a draw. I'll take a 1-1. One, one. I'll be real. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a few Arsenal fans as well saying that they'll take a draw. Um, and that makes sense because teams are coming to Villa Park. It's a tough game for them. I hear that. And also as well, Arteta, he's not going to be in the dugout. He's uh, suspended as well. So that can be an advantage to Villa as well. Because you know when Arteta is on the sideline, he's going crazy. He's giving the instructions, everything like that. So that can be an advantage. But listen, I'm back in the Villa, man. I am back in the Villa. We're going to we beat Man City. And I think we'll beat Arsenal, man. Depends though. If we show the energy, the players are not fatigued, and we play the same way against Manchester City, I can see the Villa boys beating Arsenal this Saturday, man. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for... Uh, I'm going for... 2-1 uh, to the Villa, man. I'm going for 2-1, man. Listen. I'm going to go for 2-1, and it'll be 15 wins in a row for the Villa boys. 15 wins in a row at Villa Park, people. That is absolutely crazy, man. That is Champions League form. If not, that's... I'm not going to say the words, but you know what that form is. You know what that form is, man. I'm not going to get carried away, but you know what that form is. But just know, if we beat Arsenal, oh my days. Just stay tuned for the match reaction and match day vlog. It's going to be fireworks. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely crazy, man. Uh, but listen, I'm going for 2-1. Uh, but at the same time, I'll take a draw as well, man. But I'm going to back the Villa just because it's at Villa Park. 2-1 to the Villa. Come on, you Villa boys. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys make of the game? And yeah, Villa fans, our chests are out. Champions League form right now. Any Arsenal fans watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Villa fans, we are in Dreamland. Up the Villa. Come on, you Villa boys, man.